Cabbage Patch Kids Growing in the garden Cabbage Patch Kids Growing in the sun And the most amazing thing about a Cabbage Patch Kid Is that each one grows to be a special one Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Gemma and uh, today is going to be an unboxing video of Cabbage Patch Dolls. Bit of a different video for my channel. Um, but as, if you've seen my What I Got For Christmas video, which I'll link up here or up there, um, I got a Cabbage Patch Doll for Christmas. I used to collect these, well I had three of them as a child, so they were like a big part of my childhood. I did another video on Christmas Eve um, where I showed my vintage Cabbage Patch dolls. Um, I'll put the link to that there, somewhere around here. So for Christmas, you might remember, I got this Cabbage Patch doll. Um, here she is in the box. Brown hair, brown eye, Cabbage Patch doll. Um, I've already shown this one. I'm going to unbox this one today. And then I went to Argos sale. They had them, they're £21 in the sale. So I got another one to unbox on this video. In this video, I'm going to unbox the two of them and then I'm going to compare them to my vintage Cabbage Patch dolls from the 80s. Okay, so just in case you wondered, the other kids are here and they're um, excited to be unboxing the new um, modern Cabbage Patch dolls. They're excited to have some more siblings it's quite funny actually because the camera's like you know finding everybody's faces in this and it's it's actually finding the cabbage focusing on the cabbage patch kids faces as well so we're all having you know having a portrait done together so here's the old ones these are all vintage from uh i think they're from, they should be from around 1985 i have got the original birth certificates actually I'm sure they had 1985 on them, 1984, 90, I, this one is newer than these two. I think I got this Baba first, Toby, and then Sally Ann came much later on. Bearing in mind these kids are actually um, 30 years old, they're all thereabouts. So let's get on with the unboxing of the new Cabbage Patch Kids. We'll open the first. Boxes are really nice. Um, apparently, you can connect with the Cabbage Patch Kids online and share your favourite kids moments at hashtag Cabbage Patch Kids on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Join the fun and tag your images with our hashtags. Take me with you. Show us where your Cabbage Patch Kids has been. Hashtag Travelling Cabbage Patch Kid. Style your kids' hair. Hashtag Cabbage Patch Kids Style. Share your Cabbage Patch Kids adoption story. Hashtag unique, like me, and that's what's on the box. And then on the other side, it's got um, the Babyland Hospital. That's a real life place in um, Cleveland. It says, visit Babyland General Hospital. Come and see the birth of Cabbage Patch Kid at Babyland General Hospital in the beautiful uh, mountains. Tour historical arcade, shop for unique gifts and souvenirs and celebrate your birthday in our own special party room. Babyland is located 75 miles north of Atlanta in Cleveland, Georgia, free admission. Oh, I'd like to go there. Um, so let's unbox this baby. There's the kid out of the box. Um, she's attached in with all these annoying wires that you get. Except the, they're not even wires, they're like pieces of string. So I'll get my scissors. She's out. First impression I get of her, she's a lot lighter than my original Cabbage Patch dolls. Um, I'm not sure if she's smaller, but she definitely feels a lot lighter. Um, oh, well, these strings are holding her hair together. I'll just take those out because I've cut them. 
she wasn't supposed to have pigtails. These are like the strings out of the, um, you know, attaching her to the box so her hair doesn't get messy in the box. Oh, she's got curly hair. Look at that hair, shiny curly hair. Yeah, she's a lot, I'm sure she's a lot lighter. Let me just pick up Baba. Hello. She's a little bit lighter. There's the two of them side by side. <laughs> the camera's picking up on their faces. <laughs> the two of them side by side there. I think she's a little bit smaller than my original good kid. Oh, she is so cute. This is the one I got for Christmas off Mum. We always seem to get like um, a vintage toy. Last year I got a Care Bear. Um, something that we had from childhood Mum likes to get us. Because Mum's quite a big toy collector. So I'm sure she'll be excited to see these. Um, she's got a little pink bow in her hair. I really love the colour of her hair. It's like a really nice brown colour. Um, Cabbage pot, she's still got ties on her feet here, that tying her shoes on, I'll leave those for now. She's got little tiny jelly shoes on there. It's got, it's got a little cabbage patch on the bottom of the shoe. Hold that back, you might be able to see that. A little cabbage patch. They are so cute. It looks like it's like a play suit, this, or shorts. No, it's a play suit, it's all in one. Um, and it's got Cabbage Patch Kids on the t-shirt and like she's obviously ready for summer. She smells just like the, my old ones don't smell like this anymore. I'm sure this is what they used to smell like, like a baby powder smell. Especially I remember Sally Ann, I think I was too small really to remember um, actually getting the two bigger kids. Um, I don't, I don't remember, I remember getting Sally Ann and she definitely smelled like this. I can definitely remember smelling Sally Ann's head and that's what she smelled like a little baby. Um, they've got these keys in their hands and apparently there's something to do with these adoptable um, pets. They're on the box. It says use my key, unlock the adoptable's heartbeat so you have to buy. You don't get that with it, it's a bit misleading really. I mean, I knew it, but you might think, actually, that you might get that with it. Um, oh, I'm really pleased of her. God knows where I'm going to put these. Um, <laughs> look at her little mouth and her teeth. She's lovely, isn't she? There's a little green envelope. Birth certificate and adoption papers. So you open up the little green envelope with the Cabbage Patch Kids emblem on. And it's actually... Oh, they're different to what they used to be. Oh, if I could find my other ones, I'd show them in the video. I have got them. I've got them in a scrapbook that mum kept, but I don't know if I've got them here. Um, birth certificate. This is to certifies that Becca Wendy. <laughs> this is Becca Wendy. Was born in the Cabbage Patch on October the 18th. Oh. That's that. Now my Cabbage Patch dolls, I named them and their names are on the birth certificate. So I don't know what happened in the 80s. Um, Mum seems to think that you must have sent them up. They came with names and then you could send them back. But she couldn't really remember properly. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Uh, oh, and it says here, in front of another person, raise your right hand and say, I promise to love my Cabbage Patch Kid with all my heart. I promise to be a good and kind parent. I will always remember how special my Cabbage Patch Kid is to me. 
and then you've got to sign your name here it says this certifies that and you write your name was born in the cabbage patch on and you write the birthday and was adopted by you write your name yeah so you fill all that in you even have to get some a witness to uh certify the adoption I'll just show you a comparison of the birth certificates because I actually have my original birth certificates. <laughs> a scrapbook I had as a child. Um, so this one, you can see that there. It works for wear, they're a lot bigger than the um, old ones. They're signed by Xavier. They've got like a gold Cabbage Batch Kids official adoption emblem there. And it says exactly the same thing. I promise to love my Cabbage Patch Kid with all my heart. I promise to be a good and kind parent and I will always remember how special my Cabbage Patch Kids is to me. Um, this certifies that Toby Sean, so Toby had um, a middle name that was Toby Sean, who was born on the Cabbage Patch, was adopted on the 18th of December 19. 85 um so that does make him 30 years old i believe i was free when i got him he's younger than me and then so he came on the 18th of december and then baba where are you baba um, Baba came on the 1st of March 1985. I don't know when I got these then because my birthday is in December. Um, 1st of March 1985. So she was my first kid. Um, so she's the same age as Toby, but then Toby came later on in, de in the year um, in December. And then I should have Sally Ann's in there as well. Sally Ann. It's funny how I named all these people, like, you know, Sally Ann, Toby Sean, and then Baba. Um, 1st of September, she came in 1986. So she was a year after Toby. Certificates there. Their faces sort of do feel the same. Same sort of vinyl material. They have um, similar noses. Toby's got dimples and Baba's got dimples as well. This uh, Wendy doesn't have dimples. Uh, they've both got rosy cheeks. You can still see Toby's rosy cheeks. Pop him in the camera there even though he's 30 years old if not older. Um, what else is different? Of the hair of course. As far as I'm aware, when I was little, the Cabbage Patch dolls only had um, yarn, you know, hair made of wool or yarn. These ones have got like synthetic, you know, like real to life hair, like Barbie hair. Oh, the bottom. Oh, she's got knickers on. <laughs> she's got little knickers on under the... Um, yeah, they're signed on the bottom. Xavier, same as Toby signed. Toby's uh, is, they're both signed on different cheeks. Whether that's any significance, I don't know. There's a label there and they have this module. They seem to call them K, uh, abbreviate them now to CPK. Um, CabbagePatchKids.com, 1978 to 2016. So I'm guessing these were made in 2016, these new ones. Um, so really, I'll just cover up Wendy there. They are really similar. Just have a look at, a bit easier. I don't want to just, uh, one of uh, Baba's arms is coming off a little bit. I don't want to disturb her arms too much. I need to sew it back on. Um, her legs are like that. Let's look at Wendy's legs. She's definitely smaller. If I go back there. 
She's definitely smaller. Look, a good bit smaller, aren't they? They're definitely smaller. They have synthetic hair, but like, you know, like the shape of the legs and everything, the way they're sewn and made, they're really similar. Let's have a look at the feet. Of course, these ones have got toe. Oh, this, yeah, quite similar. Feet. Um, so the next one I've got is this blonde one, blonde and blue eyes. I'll do it like that so you can see her, the ring light in the way. Oh, look at the little shoes on this one. They haven't got the Cabbage Patch on these ones. They've got like Cabbage Patch Kids in the bottom there. It's not as curly. It's got a bit of a curl in it, but it's not as curly as um, Wendy. Wendy's. Oh, you got something there. Oh, she's got like elastic band to keep her hand like that. As I think she's showing us, she's got a bangle, a blue bangle there. So her outfit is so nice. She's got blue eyes, rosy cheeks and blonde hair. And then she has like little painted dolly shoes on. A little lace dress that's sparkly. Can you see the sparkles? And a denim jacket. That's such a cute outfit, isn't it? She's lovely. Her hair is just got a little ponytail here in the side, side ponytail. I sometimes have a side ponytail like that. Um, yeah, Wendy's got like a ponytail, more of a centre ponytail. Let's have a comparison of the two new kids first. Of their faces, um, Wendy's only got top teeth showing, so they are like unique. Yeah, Wendy's got just the top teeth showing. Say hello, Wendy. And then, oh, look, this is Wendy, we don't know her name yet. Wendy's got two sets of teeth showing, and uh, this kid, she's just got the top. And her faces. Oh, of course, Wendy's got freckles, whereas this kid hasn't. I think that's the only difference is that they've got, but they're so cute. <laughs> she smells like baby powder. Smells like baby powder as well. Um, let's see, she's got underwear on too. She's got knickers on and she's got the red signature on the cheek as well. And her label's the same, I think. Yeah. Same date on it. Oh, she has. I didn't notice that. They have got like barcode numbers there. Um, I didn't notice that on the other kid. Should we see what her birth certificate's like? That's another difference I've just suddenly thought to look at. Yeah, they were made. Um, it says the date of them underneath um, the hat and the head there. Don't know if the camera will pick that up. But it says 2016, made by Wiki Cool Toys 66 in China, called Evelyn Camille. Evelyn Camille, and she was born on the June the 9th in the Cabbage Patch. Oh, and then on my original kids, I think she'll say the same. Yeah, exactly the same on the other toy. I mean, on my original kids, they have like a really long, it says like copyright 1978 to 1982. Um, 
original artwork uh, manufactured by Jesma SA made in Spain this one was you can just see that and uh, I think they were all manufactured in different places because I'm sure if we look up Sally Ann's this is copyright in 1978 to 1982. It says the same thing actually. Manu but this one, it was manufactured by Colco Inc. On her head, if you can see. And Toby, he was, he says the same, 1982, and he was Colco as well. So, um, Toby and Sally Ann were both Coco, and then Baba was made by Jessma, and I think that they had a um, another like big factory manufacturing manufacturing factory um, in Spain. So Baba's one of the Spanish kids. And, uh, notice that they've um, got outy belly buttons like the other kids did. Toby's pants are always coming down. He's got an LT belly button as well. So they are made quite similar. They're smaller, lighter, I would say. And um, of course, they've got like, you know, Barbie hair rather than the wool hair. I think these are really cute and lovely. Um, a lovely collectible item really for anyone that did um <clears throat> a lovely collectible item really aren't they um for anyone that had the toys as a child in the 80s um but they're also quite nice for children nowadays i think they're quite relatable for children nowadays i'm sure any little girl would like one of these cabbage patches, especially with a little birth certificate. Are you sure to, sort of um, showing them a bit of responsibility for their toys? I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed comparing them, the vintage kids, to the nowadays kids. Seeing the differences, seeing the similarities of them. You can definitely tell which are vintage on this side to the newer kids. But I think they all do much together as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to click on um, the subscribe button to see more videos 